I'm Grace Neutral, tattoo artist and activist. So beautiful right now. Oh, thank Too you much beauty for my eyes. I'm passionate about individual expressions of beauty. I'm a massive believer that anyone should be able to push boundaries and express themselves exactly as they want. To me, the human body is beautiful in all its forms. They think you are badass, you're so inspirational. In this series, I'm in Brazil, exploring alternative beauty culture and understanding how ideas of female beauty and identity are changing. I'm in Sao Paulo to meet the people who are flying the flag for alternative beauty and not conforming to Brazil's beauty stereotypes. I want to speak with the women who are using style to fight gender norms. So I'm on this incredible rooftop in downtown Sao Paulo. We're at this photographer Hicks house and basically he set up a photo shoot um, with a load of these girls and they are part of this amazing collective here in Brazil and they're basically challenging all the mainstream beauty ideals here and just going with their own styles and fashions. One outspoken person is Natalie Neary. She has her own successful YouTube channel and has done TED Talks championing feminism in Brazil. Hi Natalie, Hi. thank you for talking with me today. Um, I just wanted to get a bit more of an idea of what it's like to be a girl here in, in Brazil. I've noticed from walking around and things like that that the, generally the men here um, are very vocal. Could you tell me if you've had any experience with that? Aqui nós não somos talvez conhecidas como não somos reconhecidas e vistas como seres humanos, mas como corpos que perambulam por aí e estão ao dispor dos olhares, ao dispor das pessoas, porque está na TV, porque está uh, nos jornais, porque está na, na novela, na internet, em todos os lugares. Em todos os lugares as pessoas estão dizendo: este corpo é um corpo feito para ser consumido. Is there anything that you feel you're doing um, that is empowering you as a young black female that you feel will break down these gender and racial stereotypes? Muito novas, 14, 13 anos, estão entendendo o que é ser uma mulher aqui? Estão questionando isso. Estão falando que eu sou uma mulher, mas eu não aceito que você diga que esse é o meu lugar. Nós mulheres estamos cansadas, a gente não aguenta mais. E, e a coisa vai acontecer, vai acontecer porque a gente está falando. E não queriam que a gente falasse. E nós estamos falando em todos os espaços. E é muito poderoso, Grace, o que está acontecendo aqui. Muito, muito, muito. E só tende a crescer, crescer cada vez mais. Shockingly, a woman is assaulted every 15 seconds in São Paulo. One girl tackling this issue is 17-year-old Caterina Doria, who created an app which has already had over 100,000 downloads. It's, it's really hard to describe. Nobody really talks about harassment and the police or the government doesn't know how many women are harassed nowadays. Only like small institutions do the count, but th we have to do things to stop this crime that nobody talks about. So you open the app. Mm -hmm. This is Brazil. So this is this is Sao this Paulo. This is Sao Paulo, yes. And when you open the map, so the green is where we are right now. And these are the 500 nearest uh, oh. harassments okay, so around like, us. So it's a, a perfect circle. Wow, it's just a lot to take in, isn't it? It's just a sea of red. It's just a sea of harassment. Yeah. Where is the closest harassment to where we are right now? Uh, oh, shit, it's like... 60 50, meet, 59 six, meters away from us. And that was a physical assault? Yeah. Fuck. Mm -hmm. If you get it closer, we can see that there are actually two harassments here. We have the the verbal one and we have the physical one. No wonder girls are fucking terrified to walk yeah. around the street. You are a true inspiration. Thank you so and much. I really hope that you keep doing what you're doing. The level of harassment here in Sao Paulo has left me speechless. However, I'm pleased to see there are like-minded young women making a difference. I don't believe anyone should ever have to suffer because of their gender, style or how they wish to present their identity. 
As a woman, this has greatly upset me. I'm going to meet a female rapper who is leading the battle against male objectification and fighting back for women here in Sao Paulo. Lai, thank you so much for having me over and to get ready for you perform. I'm really excited to, to watch you perform. Could you just describe to me so people can know what kind of music you do? É, lancei esse ano o meu EP 129129. Ele vem com um conceito feminista. E ele fala dessa mulher periférica, da luta dessa mulher, da vivência dessa mulher. Válvulas de escapes, dando baques como piripax. E com ele vem, vem uma carga de uma linguagem explícita, no qual aqui no Brasil foi algo que causou, assim, foi um choque. Você nunca vai resistir, sua vontade é estar aqui, e a nossa é fazer tu engolir. Toda a estratégia porque na bucia que fica o que pode admitir, não dá pra resistir. Putting out a feminist message, but with types of music that, if you look through historically, have always had a bit of a bad reputation for being sexist or misogynistic towards women within the lyrics of the songs. So the mm. fact that you're kind of reclaiming that, I think is, is fucking awesome. It's amazing. Um, <laughs> like, tell me a little bit about the reaction that you get from the men in the music industry and how they reacted when they first heard your music. Eles são muito machistas. <laughs> muito, tipo, muito. Isso é porque eu sou uma mulher, isso é porque eu falo, isso é porque eu sou negra, isso é porque eu exponho o meu corpo, isso é porque eu argumento, isso é porque eu sou feminista. Isso é porque se eu tivesse um pau, cara, eu ia pegar na mão deles, eles iam ver que eu sou um game. Então eu sou uma artista que eu tenho que me provar, e eu vou me provar, e eles vão ter que me engolir, sabe? She's really inspiring for me. Because, uh, like she said, there's not there's any girl in Brazil doing what she's doing right now, and I think that over the world there's there's less people talking about it the way she's doing it. So we're here with Lai and her friends. We've all just finished getting ready. We're about to go to the show. Super, super excited now because I've just met her and I've discovered what a powerful feminist she is. She doesn't take shit from anyone and I am super excited to see her perform. Sim, ghetto woman. Minha gangue é do ghetto. Minha gangue é do ghetto. E elas são más. E elas são más. Minha gangue é do ghetto. E elas são más. Representam o que vários dizem jamais. Prove do nosso doce sem censura. Como se tivesse uma segunda chance. Isso não é um sonho. I saw you in the crowd tonight and you were having an amazing time. You were fucking amazing. Thank you for that experience. Honestly, you were fucking awesome. You own the room. And I was so inspired and overwhelmed by the people in the crowd. Everyone singing, everyone chanting. They know all the words, they know all the lyrics. Like, you should be so proud of yourself. Me sinto muito bem porque quem faz são as pessoas e a energia que vem delas. Então sempre que tiver essa energia vindo delas, eu emanando isso, eu vou estar feliz e satisfeita com o meu trabalho. Eu agradeço você, para mim é um prazer te conhecer. E nada é impossível nesse mundo. Eu posso concluir com isso. Segue a meta foco. Lai is one of the most inspiring women I've ever met. Alongside her and all the women I've met here in Sao Paulo, I'm leaving feeling happy that there are individuals fighting for expression of beauty and style within these challenging surroundings. 
To me, the most important thing is being able to be comfortable in your own skin and every person I've met on this journey is revolutionising beauty norms. There's a long way to go, but these women are pushing boundaries of acceptance, not only here in Brazil, but all over the world.